Okay, what's going on guys? We are going to do another kind of reactivity test, but we're gonna do it in the context of what it's like in this cat and mouse game to be the cat. So we're gonna put ourselves on the other side of that police radar gun, and we're gonna show you what it's like from the perspective of a police officer. And what we're gonna do is set up a trap here, basically ourselves. We're gonna be sitting off to the side of the road. It's nighttime, so it'll be like an ambush. We're gonna put our uh, antenna towards the, full, uh, towards the front, and we're gonna be running a variety of different ways. We're gonna show you some IO, we're gonna show you some quick trigger, we're gonna show you some constant on, and you're gonna be able to see how quickly the radar gun can get your speed. We, most of the time we're looking at how quickly the, the radar detector can react to a detection. Well, now we're gonna show you the other side of that, which is how quickly the police radar all the time they need, which is very little, about 100 milliseconds. So uh, we'll show you that. We're gonna have a unit in R9 alongside here, so you're gonna be able to see how quick, we already know in our last test, you're welcome to see those videos. We'll have links to them down there below our video description. Uh, you'll be able to see that, but uh, the unit in, all the unit ins, the R9, R8, R7, R4, R3, all are very quick at reacting. The Whistler Titan is reacting. Uh, some of the other detectors are not quite as re uh, quick to react, particularly on K-band, but we're gonna do right now 35-5, and uh, you're gonna see what it's like and how why it's important to have a, uh, a fast radar detector. Again, if your radar detector is too slow to react, to detect, strong or weak, doesn't really matter, you're not gonna be able to detect that IO shot or quick trigger shot, no matter how sensitive the detector is. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we consider uh, the uh, speed, reactivity, responsiveness more important than sensitivity. All the radar detectors today in the top tier are going to be sensitive enough to detect radar. It really comes down to reactivity, responsiveness, and speed. And that's what it's all about. We're going to show you that. So we're going to have some fun and uh, let's get to it. Okay, let's see how we do with some IO here. Here you go. So when you see the uh, front, I'm transmitting on the display screen, and when you see hold, I have it back to RF hold, and I'm not transmitting. See that? 65. That's how quickly. About 100 milliseconds. So you don't need much if you wanted the quick trigger. Lock it. It's already on hold. We'll release the lock. Here we go again. Sixty. So what you're hearing is the uh, the R uh, the R9's uh, decay there latch time. Very quickly. So when you see the uh, hold, that we're on RF hold, which means we are not transmitting. When you see the front, we're transmitting. Here we go. That's how quickly, that's why you need a super fast radar, reactive radar detector, very responsive, because we can get these speeds in well less than a half a second. So if a detector takes longer, requires longer for the signal to be detected, and we did that recent test and you saw how some did and others didn't.
you'd see where you're at risk for uh, instant on or a quick trigger. <laughs> 